Good morning. I am Emily Jarrett Hughes. This is Spring Forest Qigong Every Day, and I am at Lake Hiawatha at the very tip of the sandbar, one of my favorite little spots. And this is also on Facebook Live. So I'm going to take a moment and invite you to breathe with me as this global Qigong community gathers all together. So good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good moment to stop and practice Qigong. Hello, rad love radiators, love radiators. I'm so happy to be with you this morning. Thank you for taking this moment. So I'm Emily Jarrett Hughes. I am a certified healer, a certified trainer. I have a practice group called Healing Waters Qigong, and we practice by this beloved lake every week, blessing the water. And I also have a practice group that is, we practice at the new moon a different time every month. And that is for a level three practice. So this week, I am just really enjoying connecting with everybody. I remember, I noticed I was reading all of your comments, really appreciating hearing where you all are, what water you are by. I noticed a bunch of you commenting that I uh, use the words love, 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 joy, 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 peace, 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 as, I, as we tap. As we will tap nine times on many different energy points to activate our energy. And yes, I use those words rather than count to nine because it's going to already focusing our energy and getting us focused on um, what, what station we want to tune into in the universe and bringing that into our body. So that is, please use that. Master Gudu is the one who planted that seed in me and I pass it on to you. Some people were asking about taking that to their practice group. Yes, yes. So this week I am uh, using the theme of water. In January, 2021, I spoke a lot about Qigong and water. That's in the Qi Talk library. That um, it's a free thing to join the Spring Forest Qigong website and be able to access so many wonderful Qi Talks. And I was exploring the idea of being a watershed love radiator and building on a concept that Ted Myers developed. Yesterday, we talked about being uh, practicing our Qigong in our watershed and loving the water, and we'll bless the water like we did yesterday. Today, I'm going to talk about being in a watershed moment and being a love radiator in a watershed moment. What does watershed moment mean? You know, the watershed is this place, you know, all the water, you're walking along the ridge of a mountain, the water will go down one side into one watershed, down the other side to another watershed. And it can feel a little bit right now, like we are walking on a mountain ridge. It's very chaotic. And what we do really will really affect the future of our children, our grandchildren, and of the planet. Um, so there's just a lot of chaos in so many dimensions right now. And Master Lin, when he gives the reading for the energy of 20. 22, looking into 2023, he sees when in his meditation that we are moving towards deep cooperation and deep interbeing with each other. And when I hear him say that, I think, wow, I need to focus on that because there's a lot of chaos right now. And I, I with every bit of my being, want to support this movement to our, um, to our deep interconnection, to that manifesting that in a deeper and deeper way. And so I am really uh, inspired to focus on that and to be a love radiator, to make that happen. And so it matters that you're taking this moment right now to balance your energy, to purify your energy, and to uh, be a stronger and stronger love radiator for this moment. And it doesn't mean that you have to go out and save the world. We're gonna talk about this love radiation today. 
And Master Lin loves to give the example of when the Dalai Lama visited Washington DC once. Just his presence in the city dramatically reduced crime for the few days that he was there. It's just the radiation from him. And, um, and so we are gonna practice radiation today with the uh, movement called Breathing of the Universe. And uh, just thank you for being here in this moment. If you know anyone that's needing this, needing to kind of keep their focus on being a love radiator, not getting caught up in the chaos, tag them, share this. Let's be love radiators together, okay? I'm gonna adjust one more thing and then we're gonna keep going here, okay? So, excuse me. All right, so thank you, thank you. We're gonna begin actually by gathering water. I'm so ready to settle. So I'm gonna take some water from the lake here and collect it. I see clams bubbling in the water by me. And there's many, many footprints from many, many creatures here. And a reminder that we're inviting the water into the practice with us, just like we're inviting in all our friends, people who need a little extra love, they are all with us. Okay, and so take a moment to stand where you are. Like I love these footprints that are all around me. I have geese footprints. It reminds me of all the other creatures that have stood here. And think about all the other beings that stand where you stand, that have been where you are. Take a breath in and let your shoulders drop on the exhale. And we're gonna gently start bouncing, easy bouncing, happy bouncing from the knees. Okay, letting your whole body swing. Relaxing your shoulders. <sighs> Take a long, it's breathing in through your nose. And exhaling through your mouth. Good. Breathing in, we're going to bring our hands above the head letting the wrists flop a little bit on the top. Make sure you can see my wrists. Wrists flopping, helping you activate the channels in the heart. Oh, just come down into this moment. Let go of anything you're holding on to. You're coming into the flow and involves, embraces your whole body and helps you resonate with the earth where you are. Even in this, as you vibrate more and more resonating with the earth in your spot, you can think that you are a little radiation of the earth's energy. I'm gonna bring the hands down to the side. Gonna bounce slowly, turning one way and the other way. Just gently opening the spine. I love this so much. And it's also like a gentle embrace of your organs, like a little hug with that turn. And coming back to center. And just stillness. All right, so we're going to tap and cup each time with uh, nine times in all these places to open the 12 main energy channels. And we're opening them with that love, joy, and peace. Starting here on the cheekbones below the eyes, 
love, 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 joy, 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 peace, peace, peace. The base of the eyebrows, I like using the knuckle. Love, 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 joy, 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 peace, peace, peace. With a cupped hand, cupping the top of the head. Love, 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 joy, 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 peace, peace, peace. And cupping the base of the head. Love, 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 joy, 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 peace, peace, peace. Now we're going to massage C7, the big vertebrae in the back of your neck. All tension gone, feeling joy, love, peace in your shoulders. Wow, Just put that message in. We're gonna clap our hands. Love, 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 joy, 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 peace, peace, peace. And into the left elbow, love, 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 joy, 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 peace, peace, peace. And to the right, love, 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 Joy, 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 peace, peace, peace. Into the armpit. Love, 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 joy, 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 peace, peace, peace. The other side. Love, 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 joy, 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 peace, peace, peace. Good. We're going to tap the tailbone. Really, we're tapping the muscle. The muscle vibrates so much more and creates more of that vibration and whole being. Oh, sun's coming through the clouds now. So wonderful. So happy to see that lovely sun. Okay, with loose fists, we're gonna cup the hip joints. All right, and then we're going to cup the front of the knees nine times. Love, 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 joy, 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 peace, peace, peace. And the back of the knee. Love, 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 joy, 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 peace, peace, peace. Both sides of the left knee. Love, 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 joy, 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 peace, peace, peace. Both sides of the right. Love, 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 joy, 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 peace, peace. Peace. Right, beautiful. I'm going to just make sure that you have a very good view. You do. And I'm going to come together. We're going to stand in beginning of the universe position. Feet a little wider, about hip width apart, I mean, shoulder width apart, excuse me, maybe even a little wider. So we have this nice, grounded connection with the earth. And drop your tailbone and lengthen your spine. Draw your chin back. You can rest the tip of your tongue on the roof of your mouth gently. And your elbows are away from your sides, and your hands are like they could hold a ball of energy. Loose. They're activated and relaxed, not tense, not limp, activated. We call this stance, it has a pine tree quality, flexible and energized. And pine tree in Chinese is song, also means that relaxation. So we use even the vibration of the word to help us find this stance. Song. invite you to breathe through all of your skin like the pine tree breathes through all the needles with each breath collect that breath behind your navel and as you exhale you release anything you no longer need back to the universe And now in your heart, you say the password to begin our practice. I am in the universe. 
the universe is in my body. The universe and I combine together. And you notice the little different intensity of energy, tingling, as you make that connection with that pure universal chi. Gently bring your focus up to your heart. And we're going to set our intention. And dear universe, dear ancestors, to all the masters, your master in particular, your guide, the greatest example. Please help me open my heart even more to you for my health, my longevity. for activating my life purpose, for my spiritual awakening. Anything else, anything for your well-being and for your loved ones, you can say that now. You know you are grounded and guided and supported by the universe. So you can just let go into feeling that flow of universal energy through you. Trusting it will guide you in response to that question, that intention. So you're going to bring your hands now in front of your navel. Like you're holding a volleyball. Going to begin breathing of the universe. And notice the energy between your hands. It's there, not there. Your hands are a little bit like magnets, they are attracted to each other and repulsed from each other at the same time. brings this floating feeling into your hands. And now we're gonna breathe in. The elbows begin this expansion on the in-breath and you exhale, you gather your energy back to in. Breathing in, open to this sun from the universe, the sun coming through the clouds right now. Exhale, you let go of anything you need to let go of. It goes back to the universe. Go oh, in this breath, this breath that is collecting and releasing. You can feel that inhale through all of your skin collecting a pure universal chi. And now that chi radiates anything you no longer need, sending it back to the universe. Something beautiful like incense or smoke. You can bend your knees as you inhale too, if that is comfortable for you. You can of course do this exercise seated as well. You can do this exercise purely in your visualization, lying down. That you focus still again on that inhale, gathering, collecting, downloading that energy from the universe through every cell. Some of our best antenna for that are the tips of our fingers. They can be the pinpoint focus 
for this practice. What I love about this practice is the way the gathering and radiating feeling of it is always in balance. When we breathe in, collecting that breath, we're opening, we have this radiating movement. And as that energy goes out to the universe, we're collecting. And so I can remember that this is like really part of what it is to be the feeling of being a love radiator, radiator means really that we have collected, we've warmed ourselves like a warm, warm rock in this warm, loving light in the universe. And that rock just then radiates its warmth to those who hold and carry it, touch it, buy it. That radiation happens effortlessly. The power is really in our focus on that downloading. And we can go deeper into that downloading by downloading with the feeling of joy. Joy for being alive. Continue to take a few more breaths, letting yourself deeply absorb this joy. Wow, I am so moved by the power of this collective chi field, feeling our joy together. All of us practicing together now, and she has no bounds of time. If you're watching the recording, then you also can tap into this amazing collective chi field full of this love and joy. Take one more breath, this movement. And coming back to holding your hands together in front of you. Notice that feeling of the chi between your hands. And take a breath in and bring your hands down. And we're going to transition now to chairs for our seated part of our meditation for just a moment. I invite you as we practice a few dolphin necks, dolphining of the necks, to see this is also a way to practice the love radiation. So we breathe in and we scoop this with our neck, our neck, we're gathering an egg. Exhale, we draw our chin back and up. You can think about bringing in some of the same feeling of 
the with, that we have with a visualization when we practice the exercise we just finished. Breathing in, collecting energy through our whole being, feeling it just pour into your heart and exhaling, you're unfurling and releasing anything you no longer need. Inhaling and scooping that egg and collecting energy from the universe. Exhaling, releasing anything you no longer need. This movement is so wonderful for the heart. So we're continuing with the heart system today. Feeling that it helping you should, the best way is to feel that stretch all the way through your chest. And to allow that be like a release of energy flowing up into the universe. So beautiful. One more. And coming back to stillness and just notice your posture. Enjoy your posture. Feel how long you are, how relaxed your shoulders are. Now focusing on your lower Dantian behind your navel, energy center behind your navel. See the energy spinning there, spinning faster, smaller, and brighter. Gathering into this brilliant, fast spinning ball of energy, medicine for you. Tuck it deep in behind your navel, the center of your being. Take a gentle breath. And breathing, we're gonna gently open the eyes. Rub your hands together, rubbing between your fingers. Massaging your face and heart. Combing through your scalp, activate the channels in your head. Oh, it feels so good. Cupping your head, especially the back of your head. Massaging your ears. And like a little tug on your earlobe. Wonderful. All right, and we're going to cup the kidneys. Make sure you're not seeing my chair. All right, I'm gonna bend forward and cup the kidneys. Rubbing the kidneys with the backs of the hands, the palms of your hands. Mmm, <sighs> and into the sunshine. All right, and you join me. And this blessing for the water, we've really, we've blessed it by having the water join us in our practice. And it's gonna resonate with the whole lake. And just also to say, water, I love you. Water, I thank you. Water, I honor you. And I'm gonna take it here to this point that makes me think of our watershed moment right now. Here we go. Woo! So thank you so much. Thank you to Master Lin and the great lineage of teachers. Thank you to these teachings that are so profound and simple. And thank you to community. We are the essential pillar 
your chi field that we're sharing together is so strong and your love radiation matters. So I wish you a beautiful day. I'll see you tomorrow again by the water. Bye for now. <laughs>